Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we wanted to discuss about configuration management, how it is making a difference in a area of DevOps, how uh, companies are leveraging uh, configuration management tools like Puppet, Chef, Salt, Ansible uh, to spin up and automate their configuration of their virtual or physical machine. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's take an example wherein you are one of the DevOps or SysOps and administrator in your company been asked to uh, spin up a VM and install a particular software on top of that VM. You probably, it's, it's just a couple of hours job, you just uh, spin up a, a virtual machine or physical machine and install that software by downloading it from the package repository yum or, or apt-get or, or, or beat windows. Now after a couple of days you've been asked to spin up multiple VMs, maybe bunch of dozens of VMs and then you've been asked to install the same software. You probably spin up these machines and install the same software manually. Uh, probably a, a, a day's job in, in comparison to what you had to do it in a couple of hours because the VM was only a single and in, in this case the, the VM scale set has increased. Now after a couple of months your team has grown and you've been asked to build up multiple environments maybe sandbox development or production and this is just not dozens of machine it's it's way more than that and you have no idea how to do the same job. You've been asked to spin up the infrastructure and build up install the same software. Practically manually installing all these softwares the same software on the virtual machine is going to be a tedious job and you're going to end up uh, do uh, making a fire catch uh, it's just just uh, uh, it's just a tedious job which you don't want to do it and then when it comes to thousands of machine it's just not possible to do it manually uh, and these scenarios are are in wherein you have these configuration management tool like pep pup, uh, puppet chef uh, salt and ansible comes into picture wherein they help organization to automate the software installation process or, or you you want to install a software into multiple bunch of uh, virtual machines or you want to roll back to a previous version you want to you have your apache server you want to install into multiple linux machine you you don't want to do it manually and you cannot do it manually as well you want to keep the state of your virtual machines where this virtual machine currently stands at what are the softwares th this particular machine has on it and, and what was there back in 15 days or a month back all these information can be stored and maintained using a configuration management now these configuration management tools also uh, use uh, multiple mechanism uh, push and pull mechanism uh, example could be like puppet and chef use a, a pull based mechanism and uh, uh, and and an ansible uh, or or salt uh, uh, takes it takes it as, as a push mechanism what happens in this mechanism is like uh, if you have a pull mechanism just like uh, puppet and chef you have a master node and you have these worker nodes worker nodes are where in your operations are running your your web servers or database servers where you need to configure or deploy or install a software now to a couple of minutes or schedule amount of time these agent would pull out these configuration define in master and make these changes on itself that's how the push and pull mechanism uh, uh, works uh, take an example of one of the configuration management tool like puppet it not only helps you to deploy software or roll back these softwares or, or, or maintain a state of your uh, configuration it also help companies to automate infrastructure which means you can build virtual or uh, or, or um, uh, on-premises machines uh, infrastructure resources virtual networks storage using these configuration tool as well now how a puppet master agent uh, architecture works it, it works on a master agent uh, architecture which means you would have a master which would control all of your agents your agents would be slaves these are machines wherein your applications are hosted these are could be windows or linux machine however your puppet master has to be a linux or unix based machine it works on 8140 now this master uh, keeps a track of all the facts all the configuration your agents has and it periodically checks if you need to install anything now suppose you have bunch of machines 50 machines all these 50 machines are connected to masters and all of these machines needs to be upgraded from uh, IIS 7 to 8 or your Apache server needs to be up downgraded from certain version 
now um, a puppet master would write a configuration on it uh, on itself and after every 30 minutes by default these machines this linux or windows agents would be polling this information if it checks if 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 it needs to upgrade it to a certain version or it needs to be downgraded to a certain version as per defined in the puppet manifest it will try to ram down or make the changes on its uh, on its own and then it comes to a desired state that's that's how it works the communication happens within uh, uh, between agents and master using a certificate uh, these are uh, signed certificate uh, which are which are signed by puppet certificate authority so when you install puppet master uh, it comes with a certificate authority as well which which will sign your certificates which means it, it's 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 establishing a handshaking between uh, your agent and master uh, talking about deployments model there are two models one is a standalone model wherein it, it, it uh, your agent and master can be installed on the same server these are primarily used for proof of concept or very small uh, small infrastructure however master agent model are the most common and production used uh, uh, model that's pretty much all for today i hope this video was informative and it it did make sense in terms of how the configuration management works how puppet works and 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 generally how how you can leverage configuration management in your organization as well to automate your infrastructure or configuration management that's it for today i'll see you in the next video thank you